The last tank fire job that you'll learn about is the continuous job. This job is meant to be used when you have a chain reaction in your app. For example, a user decides to unsubscribe from your app, and then after the unsubscription is confirmed, you want to send them a confirmation email. So, the second job, which in this case is the confirmation email, waits for another job to finish before it's executed, which in this case is the unsubscribe action. Let's go to Visual Studio and see this in action. In here, I'm going to copy the discount API endpoint because this API endpoint is kind of similar. So I'll just paste it in here and change the discount to confirm. Now we have a job ID, so let us change the text in here to unsubscribe. So this is the action that happens. And for this job, we have a job ID. So now we are going to create another one, another job, which is going to be executed when we have a job ID. So when this one is executed, we are going to execute the second one, and that's going to happen after 30 seconds. So for that, in here, let us write background job dot continue job with, then pass as a parameter the job ID, or let us name this job ID parent job ID. So I'll just copy this value, paste it in here, and then pass as a second parameter another job that we want to process. So I'll just write in here console dot write line your unsubscribed. We can also change the text in here to so I'll just copy this console dot write line, paste it in here. You asked to be unsubscribed. So this is meant for our app. And the other one is meant to send an email confirmation to the user. Let us scroll down in here. I'll just change the text in here to confirmation job created. And we can remove the dollar sign in here since we don't need it. So let us save the changes. Let us run the app. So here we have the dashboard and we see that we have a recurring job. And this job has already been running for quite some time. Let's go to jobs. And here we see that we have 15 jobs. Here we have all of them. Let's go to the recurring job, select it and delete the job. Okay. And the job is deleted. Now let us go to Postman. In here, I'll change the database updated to confirm and click the send button. So the confirmation job was created. Let us go back to the dashboard. If we go now to jobs, we'll see that we have a scheduled one, which is going to run in 30 seconds. And we have an awaiting one, which is the second job. Because this job in here now, waits for the other one to execute. And if you click 18, you'll see that this job is waiting for the parent 17 to be executed. If you click 17, you'll see that this job is scheduled. So now we see that both jobs ran successfully. And if you go to succeeded, we see that 17 succeeded. And if you go back to succeeded, 18 succeeded as well. And this job waited for job 17 to be processed successfully. Now, we mentioned that Hangfire is a persistent service. And the reason for that was because it was saving the data in a persistent storage. And when we started this course, we used the startup.cs file to configure the SQL server, but we never checked the database. So let us go and check the database that was automatically created by Firebase. I'll just Close the browser. So the app is stopped. Go to Server Explorer and open this database because this is the database that we used. And inside here, go to Tables. And here we have all the tables. So we have the state, set, etc. But let's go to the job table because inside here we can find all the jobs. So short table data. And here we can see all the jobs. 
So what is the state? What was the invocation data? And here you can see all the details. Like we use the hang file controller. We didn't pass any arguments, etc. And here we can see the arguments. So that is just the arguments in the method that got executed. So for example, we just executed the you ask to unsubscribe and you were unsubscribed. So we have a typo in here, but that's not important. When it was created and when it does expire. We can also see in here other tables like job queue and we don't have any jobs in queue right now. So that table will be just an empty table. And this is how Hangfire keeps track of all the background processes.